All right, Cherubs, thanks for joining me once again, where today I'm going to lay out what's happening in this crazy extreme body recomposition challenge I've taken on next week. Uh, it actually starts tomorrow morning, my time, so now's a good time for me to lay out for you what it is I'm doing so that you'll be able to follow along and know what's going on. Um, I'm sitting here in my unheated office at ambient temperature, middle of the winter here in the Southern Hemisphere, um, with minimal clothing on, of course, uh, that's because I'm encouraging the loss of heat units from my body so that my body has to produce more of those to assist with this process. Uh, that's why that's happening. It's not just to show off my sexiness, such that it is. Um, so that explains that. Right. Okay. What is this ridiculous challenge? Right. Here it is. I said to you a few days ago that my plan was to take a week starting tomorrow morning and strip my body fat down after a week to nominally 10% body fat as determined by my biometric impedance scale here. Uh, currently, it sits at, uh, well, it started at 19.3%. So I've got 9.3% body mass loss to get rid of in the form of fat to achieve this challenge. I decided to make it a bit more difficult by saying that my already very, very minimal exercise on a daily, weekly basis, I wanted to increase that by very little, if at all. I wanted to keep any increase in exercise minimal. I wanted to show you that you can achieve body recomposition without exercising particularly or particularly by increasing it. So there will be some increase in my exercise um, levels. You'll see that throughout the week in my series of documentary videos outlining this challenge that I'll be making this week. But really I'm not doing a lot and certainly not anything that you would suspect would be hugely involved in a large amount of fat loss. All right. Um, so I took some baseline measurements about three days ago, exactly three days ago, in fact, and they indicated to me that at that time my body mass was 65.2 kilograms, otherwise known as 144 pounds, of which 19.3% of that was made up in the form of fat, which was uh, therefore nominally 12.6 kilograms of fat stored in various places around my person, otherwise known as 27.7 pounds of fat in total around my various parts, shall we say. All right, um, what else do you need to know? BMI 23.1. Fine. Muscle mass, 42.2%. Great. Um, weight of my uh, skeleton, 3.1 kilograms or 6.8 pounds. Surprisingly light, aren't they, skeletons? But there you go. Um, water, 56.4% of my weight is in the form of water, or was at that time. Uh, that equates to 36.77 litres of water, which weighs 81.1 pounds of my entire 144. 81.1 of it is water, or was three days ago. All right. The percentage of my body made up in protein was 19.7% according to the scale, um, and it suggested to me that my lean body mass was 52.6 kilograms or 116 pounds. Okie dokie, which would mean that my lean dry mass was 15.8 kilograms or 34.9 pounds. All right, those are the numbers that we started with three days ago. Preparatory to the challenge proper, what I've been doing is three days of getting my body ready, getting things set the way I want them to be set, getting into a position where it's at all likely that I'll be able to achieve anything like the goal that I have in mind. That goal being that I needed to strip off something like six, just over six kilograms or just over 12 pounds, I think it was, of fat off my body in one week without exercising. Um, pretty, pretty insane ask, pretty, pretty difficult task. Um, but there is a method to my madness or a madness in my method. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Anyway, what have we done for the last three days? Here's what it's been. I have been fasting. 
um, except for around about 150 calories a day of cream in my coffees, which I've still continued to drink while I've been doing this fasting from food, shall we say. And um, so that's been wet fasting. I've been consuming fluids as normal, just not consuming solid food. As I say, the only thing calories wise that's gone in has been a bit of cream in my coffee, amounting, as I say, to about 150 calories per day for the last three days. Certainly less than 500 calories in the last three days. Great. Okay. What else have I been doing? I've also been wearing minimal clothing in the middle of winter and not heating my office at all, letting it be ambient temperature and indeed having the window open as well so that it's really quite chill. It's middle of winter, as I say here, pretty much. Um, I've been going for brief walks. I've done an hour of walking total in the last three days, wearing shorts and a singlet, walking the dogs along the river with Pim. It's been lovely, I tell you, lovely. Most bracing, most bracing indeed, but very, very cold. Um, I've been doing a little bit of cold bathing in the bathtub, which I'll be continuing during the week, and you'll see that during my series of documentary update videos of, of what's going on with that. Um, that's it. No real increase in exercise to speak of. A few sets of chin-ups around the house, a few sets of body weight squats here and there, maybe some lunges. That's about it. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing for the last three days, pretty much. Um, oh, I've also been sleeping with the bed covers thrown completely off, the bedroom unheated. Um, while ever Pim's been wrapped up in all her duv duvets and all of that and cuddling up with the dogs and whatever else, I've just been lying there um, exposed to the air temperature, sleeping that way pretty much until I start shivering and get too cold and then I pull on a, a, on a, on a thin um, duvet to stop myself from actually getting hypothermia. So that's what's been happening. Okay, what's happened in three days of not taking in calories? Why did I do that? Number one, I wanted to get definitely into into a, a ketotic state, a state of ketosis, if you like. I wanted to make sure that I was absolutely running at my maximum in terms of fat use via the, the ketone pathway. Um, I haven't got keto sticks in the house. I, I don't keep them in the house. I didn't get any for this. I just thought, nah, I know when I'm in, ket in ketosis and I know it very clearly because I can smell it in my urine very, very powerfully. And I can tell you that I am absolutely in ketosis fully. Um, good stuff. So that's happened. Uh, in the last three days, my weight has dropped from 65.2 kilos down to 64, which is the same as 144 pounds down to 141. So three pounds of body weight lost in three days. Great. Okay. My fat percentage in that time has gone from 19.3 to 18.5, which equates to 12.6 kilograms of fat down to 11.8 or about 800 grams of fat has come off my body in three days. Okay, so uh, that being said, what I've done is worked out what my leakage of heat, my calorie loss has been over the last three days, and it equates to 6,692 K calories lost from my body as stored fat in the last three days, or 2,231 K calories per 24 hour period. Okay, good. Obviously, that won't get me anywhere near getting to the 10% body fat by the end of the week, um, nominally seven days from tomorrow morning, because I will need to increase my loss of heat units, calories, from my body by a factor of four. I would need to you know, go 400% in terms of energy expenditure to achieve this goal, and I'm not going to increase my activity levels particularly. I will a little bit. However, my plan is to achieve three-fourths or more 
of that lost energy by one, continuing to not take in calories and dump out the 150 calories in cream starting tomorrow morning. But also what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop consuming fluids. Yes, dry fasting is what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm also going to instigate a program of for a period of time every day exposing myself to a very, very hot situation so that I sweat out a whole bunch of water as well to thus increase my body to produce still more fluid by way of metabolic water production to counteract the dehydration I would otherwise suffer. And it's that which is going to cause the loss of fat on my body, not the requirement for calories. Not at all. In fact, so really what I'm doing here is I'm pointing towards yet another example of why calories in, calories out is not a correct thing. What a lot of people don't understand is that your body is capable of generating its own fluid, its own water, and it does that by using up stored fat. Yes. So it thereby undertakes an uncoupled usage of the fat, uncoupled to ATP production that is, and thus results in the fat disappearing from your body and water appearing in your body that would be required to counteract the dehydration I would suffer were I not, um, were my body not capable of doing that, basically. So dry fasting, right, here are a couple of caveats about dry fasting that I do need to say. Number one, please do not try this at home. This is for a challenge for YouTubes. I know what I'm doing. I've done this before. I do have a somewhat physiological medical background. Um, I, I do know what the danger signs are. I do know when we need to do something different and when we need to deal with a situation if it becomes a problem, etc., etc. I do have good help on hand in the form of my dear partner, Pim, here, who is similarly qualified to myself and similarly experienced in dealing with such things herself as well. There are attendant risks in dry fasting. It is not perfectly safe to do and it is not responsible to suggest that people just run off and do this by themselves without good supervision on hand, close at hand. So please don't try this at home. Do follow along. Do follow the daily video update vlogs that I'm going to post on a daily basis about my progress, what's been happening, how it's feeling, what I'm experiencing, what the difficulties are, etc., etc. And I will be doing updates much more regularly than just daily. I'll be doing short snippets on IG throughout the week. So if you're not already following me on IG, now is a great time to go and get yourself followed or following me on IG so that you can keep in touch with me on a much more regular basis throughout the week of how this is going, what's happening. You'll be able to see what I'm doing from time to time every couple of hours here and there, depending on what is going on and you'll be getting updates from me on how I'm feeling and how I'm experiencing it and whether or not it's working. You'll also get daily updates here on YouTube, of course. There'll be a 5 to 10 minute video every day to bring you up to speed with what is happening. That's what's going to be happening. So the vast majority of the fat that is going to be stripped off my body in the next week will be stripped off because my body requires the production of water, not because my body requires the energy because it doesn't. As I've just shown, it's using 2,231 calories, K calories per day, baseline for the last three days. Okay, so there's no way it's suddenly going to start needing 8,000 or so for the next seven days when I'm not going to increase my activity levels. Okay, so calories in, calories out, you say. Let's check it out over the next week. Stay with the challenge, stay with the updates, enjoy, do follow along, but don't try this at home without decent supervision. All right, good. Catch up with you during the week. Those are our people today. That's what's happening here in midwinter in the Southern Hemisphere. It really is quite chilly in this office. You can probably tell. I certainly can from this angle. Mm. All right, see you then. Ciao for now.